Try to focus on your breath. Watch your breath as it comes in, as it goes out. Try to stay right here as continuously as you can. If you jump around a lot, you don't see much. It's like walking into a room and seeing a little snatch of the TV and then going out for 20 minutes and coming back and seeing another little snatch of the TV and trying to figure out what happened in the meantime. And sometimes you can guess right and sometimes you can guess wrong. It's the same with the mind. If you're not really watching anything carefully and continuously, you miss a lot of the story. So we're training the mind here to stay with the breath continuously, to develop a good habit, this ability to stay and watch consistently so that you can see when you do something, what are the results. As the Buddha said, if you do something on an unskillful intention, there's going to be suffering. Is that true? You have to check for yourself, but the only way you can check for yourself is if you watch things carefully and continuously. Or if you act in a skillful way, he said, that leads to happiness. If actions are based on skillful intentions, they eventually lead to well-being. Is that true? You have to check and see, but you have to make your mind the kind of mind that really is worthy of checking and coming to a good conclusion. So that's why you train the mind to stay right here. Any other thing comes through, just let it go right through. You don't have to comment on it. You don't have to get involved. As one of the Thai Johns would say, if a, if a sound comes, you don't want to disturb the sound. You think the sound is disturbing you, but you're making all kinds of comments. You're the one disturbing the sound. So just let it pass. Let it pass. You want to stay with the breath. Learn how to be focused like this. And then your mind becomes a more reliable mind. You put it to, put it to a task, and it'll stay with that task. If it keeps jumping around whether you want it to or not, it's like having a monkey in your house. A monkey that you haven't trained, and it can cause all kinds of trouble. So try to get it trained to stay here in one spot. It may complain for a while, but eventually it gets used to being in its one spot and finds it can make it comfortable. Then your mind is more reliable. Then your idea of what's right and wrong becomes more and more reliable as well. You become a more reliable guide to yourself and a more reliable source of advice for other people because you're able to develop this quality of continuity, this quality of stick to, stick to a So try to keep that going as much as you can.